Today we are making a poem using watercolor and crayons. Now, you can make a poem or if you are working on your language skills and writing skills, you can make a rhyming word list. Alrighty friends, decide where you're at. You may need an adult to help you make the grid to help keep your lines straight, or you might be able to do it on your own. Let's get started. Check out these examples made by teachers at ISEF. I made the first one. It includes illustrations and includes warm and cool colors. The warm colors are on the bottom and the cool colors are on the top. It reads, with a bear, on a chair, in a truck, with a duck, on a mat, in a hat. Here's the beginning work of Miss Child's rhyming poem at View Park K-8. Notice how she used warm colors for the letters, and in the watercolor portion, she used cool colors only. Do you remember the cool colors from our other lessons? Green, blue, and purple. It says, get set, ready now, jump right in, bounce and kick, and giggle and spin. This beautiful poem is made by an unknown teacher at ISEF. She has remained anonymous. It says, I am art, smart, new, cool, pretty jewel. Notice how she used warm colors only. Pink, yellow, and orange are warm colors. However, for the writing, she included purple, which is technically a cool color, and blue as well. It's time to pause the video and grab your supplies. First thing you're gonna do is make a grid. You can do this with the help of an adult in your family or you can try on your own. So here's my finished product. And this is how I got there. I took a ruler and I simply laid it across the edge of my paper. Got it really straight right along the edge. I held it with one hand and then I made a line all the way to the end. See, I repeated that process until I got to the other side of the page, holding the ruler right by the edge, moving my hand if I need to, and making a line. All right, you get the idea. Then, after I finished the whole page, I turned my page around, and I completed the same process going in the other direction. Holding my ruler and making a line. And I repeated that over and over until I got the grid you see. Okay, friends. So once you have your grid, you are going to, on a piece of scratch paper, make your rhyming poem. So this goes aside for a moment. And you're going to work on a scratch paper to write out your rhyming poem. Now, if a rhyming poem is too difficult, you can simply make rhyming words. So I might make a little poem that's about a cat. And it's going to say, my, I'm practicing my cat. Wears a hat. And a mask. Period. He has a blast. Because he feels safe. All right, now I have to see if this will fit on my grid. I might have to change things around if it doesn't fit. All right, I have to make this fit in my grid, so I'm gonna have to change it a little bit. I have to think about how I'm gonna make this fit. So I'm gonna start with my cat, and I'm not using all my lines, so I'm gonna put my cat together and save some space. I'm writing my letters really big inside each box. My cat. Where's a hat? Will that fit? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many letters do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just enough. This one I can fit. Where's
A, I'm gonna make that one little hat. Now, can I fit the other one? And a mask. Notice sometimes I can skip a box and sometimes I can't. You just have to see what fits. So my next line doesn't totally fit, so I had to adapt it. So I wrote, he has a blast. And I put blast in the middle for emphasis because he feels safe. All right, the grid is just to help us write. If you don't need the grid, you can always flip it over and write freestyle here. You can also make a rhyming word list instead. So another way to do this is write it out with an adult and you could say rhyming words like my, pie, sky. What else rhymes with my, pie, sky, by? All right. You can also write rhyming words. My, pie, sky, by, high. All right, you decide what level you're at. Are you gonna write rhyming words or a poem? The next step is to trace your words with a crayon. Now it's time to paint with watercolors. So here are our cool colors, purple, blue, green, and here are warm colors, yellow, orange, red. Paint with intermediate colors or washes of warm and cool. These colors, yellow through red, mix nicely together, and so do purple, blue, and green. You can also mix red with purple to get a more magenta color. So I'm going to stick to these color families as I paint in my watercolor. All right, you can experiment, you can paint each box, but notice how the crayon resists the watercolor so you can see your words through the paint. Remember a few tips as you're painting. You always dip your water color brush in the cup and pull off a little water from the edge so you don't get messy. You can be neat, you can stick in your box. You can erase these lines if you want. I forgot to show you that. So if you want to forget about the lines and have them disappear, you can also erase them before you proceed. Or you can be, again, like I said, really precise, and each little box can have a color or a mixed color. It's entirely up to you. All right, so I'm gonna keep painting. Here are my cool colors. And I'm gonna mix my purples and my blues together. And I'm gonna watch what happens. It looks like a little more blue-gray. And then on the other side of my painting, near the bottom, I'm going to stick to my warm colors. I'm gonna use red. I think I need a better quality watercolor. There we go. So if you're not getting enough color, remember, load up that brush, make it less watery, and then paint. There's different ways to go about this. Here's my last tip. You may want to color a word in one color and another word another color. You decide how are you going to make your artwork special and your own. All right, so I have different words in different colors here. Maybe I want to do one row. It's entirely up to you. Use your creative expression to group your warm colors and cool colors for your final product.
Remember, it's mandatory to post to your teacher's classroom and it's optional to post on Padlet. We can't wait to see your masterpieces.